Have you ever felt weak when playing ML? Sometimes I am sure you kill your laner 2-3 times and then later on the enemies just wreck you up and you felt like you are missing something in your gameplay. Well watch this video as this will be perfect for you. Hi guys Kazuki here and in this video I am going to show you guys 3 incentives from every role to fill up in those gaps you are missing when you play MH. As you guys know this video has redeem codes and I want to congratulate the winners of our previous video. Thank you for participating and similarly this video will have hidden codes too. Find it from the video and redeem it at kazukiofficialstore.com and your diamonds will be delivered instantly. Let's start the video with the experience laner. The first tip I want to say is cutting lane. Why do we need to cut lanes? To rotate or give backups in games. Cutting lanes is a risky thing to do but it is very effective and it will give you a lot more time when rotating. This will give your team higher chance to win in team fights. And with that I want to move on to our next step which is not to extend in fights. Experience laner often overextends in a fight. You might get good value but sometimes your laner might not rotate and decide to push lane which will give him a lot of advantage. And it takes us to the next point which is to push your lane. If the turtle or there is a gank in your side of the map, do give backup but if the enemies or team are ganking on the gold lane, then you better just focus on your lane and try to push your lane. Experienced laner often just focuses on rotating instead of pushing which is not right. Try to do both at the same time. Know when to rotate and when to push. The next will be gold laner. The first tip we have for gold laners is positioning. As you know gold laner is especially played by MM so when playing it Positioning is the most important thing to know. Marksman often has a higher basic attack range but is more squishy and this is why positioning is important. If the MM position is good enough, it can easily decide the outcome of a fight. Next will be playing extra safe in the early game. Marksman is a weak in the early game and becomes more effective in the mid to late game. And sometimes if you keep on feeding the enemy in the early game, it will be hard for you to be effective again. The best thing to do is play safe in the early stage and try to get some farm and shine in the late game. And to play safe in the early game, you need to consider one thing that takes us to our next step and that is the minimap. I know I always told you guys about the minimap but everyone keeps on neglecting it. I want you guys to look at the minimap once every 5 to 10 seconds or even more and take the advantage of it. The next role will be the jungler role. And the first tip I want to say is to time your buff. This is especially for those buff dependent heroes such as Ling and Fanny. Even if you try to execute a gank without a buff, it will likely fail. So you need to time your buff and try to gank before your buff is over. The blue and red buff lasts for 75 seconds after you eliminate it. Next will be saving red tree for objectives. Always try to save your red tree if possible and sometimes timing it is important. Use it by looking at the main objective such as load and turtle. If the load or turtle respawns in around 30 to 40 seconds, you can use it as it will be available again before it respawns. But if the respawns time is lower than 20 seconds, save it. The next will be trying to leave the gank as soon as possible. If you execute a gank, try to move on to the next plan as early as possible. 
If you extend it, all your teammates might end up dying there as the enemies will resurrect and come for backup when you guys are low and out of skill. The next role will be the mage. We already talked about the importance of positioning for MM and same goes for the mage. Mages have to stay back and try to poke or either try to burst enemies. If you are looking for 100% safe and secure diamonds, Kazuki official store is here to fulfill your need. We are trusted by more than 100k MLBB players from India, Philippines and Europe to visit our website and browse between various packs. Bad positioning may leave you vulnerable to attack from every side. The next tip will be prioritizing targets. When using mages, don't use your skill on the enemy with the auto attack. But try to mark the enemy damage dealer or MM or their jungler. If you could manage to kill one, the fight will favor your side. And the last tip for mages will be to manage skills. Mages often use all their skills when clearing lanes as it is very hard for them to clear minions. But it's fine as the fight can happen anytime. If your skill is on cooldown during a fight, you can do nothing to help your teammates but watch them lose the fight. And the last role will be the roam. The first tip will be to give the best reason to your teammates. You can do this by always moving one step ahead of the enemy, either in rotating or competing for objectives. Before the enemies are on their way to rotate, try to come here and give the vision of Litho to your jungler or even in these bushes to give vision for your side laner. When the turtle or load is up, before contesting, roamer can come here to give the vision of it. This will be very effective if you can do it in every match. The next tip will be to keep track of the enemy movement. You can do this to know when to gank and when not to. This can be done by clearing the enemy jungle area before a gank. If you see them moving towards the lane, try to retreat. And if you don't see any, they are likely in the opposite lane, try to get their SF. Check whether you are outnumbered and don't take fights if it does. And with the talks about the gank and backup, it takes us to our last point which is to try to give the best backup by watching the minimap. By watching the minimap, you can get a hold of the enemy position and know where to gank after every wave. So did you guys learn something from these tips? If so, do comment down below and write your thoughts about it. And with that, here are the 5 shoutouts from our previous video. Jason is good. Mo Elmi. Justin. Remy Dilapcha and Hanbian. So that will be all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Keep supporting Kazuki Official.